every year, we are so inspired by our Barner Scholars. Not only are they top academic performers with multiple talents, but they are good citizens with a strong sense of community. They are dedicated to making the most of their academic experience because they truly want to make the world a better place. Nilai Bat is double majoring in computer science and mathematics and managed to make the Dean's List each semester. But aside from his facility with numbers and computer systems, his professor frequently mentioned Nilai's readiness to help others both academically and socially. He founded our computer science club organized teams to represent CCSU in academic competitions. He volunteered for community coding events and worked as a tutor from his sophomore year on. Meanwhile, he completed four internships during his years at CCSU, and one of those internships offered him a job right out of college. It's not surprising that one of his professors called him an unforgettable student. One of the quotes that I heard is, talent is a gift, but character is a choice. And it stuck with me for a long time, and it's still with me, is no matter how big you get, no matter how awesome you are at something, being humble is the key, among others, and showing grace to people who you don't even know. When I found out that I was first nominated enough by my department chair, I did not know how big of the award this was. And I did some research and looked up on the CSC website and I was like, holy cow, this is big. <laughs> I did not know that. The instant feeling that I had was really great. I felt grateful. And all these years, whether it was working with different clubs, leading different clubs, all, of all these volunteering events, or being, I would say, okay at school, it, it really reflected me, it hit me that nothing went unnoticed. It was my mentor's consistent effort, consistent efforts with me, you know, pushing me through, and it kind of panned out. When I, when I heard about the award, I jumped. I was, I was sitting on my sofa when I got the email and I jumped out of the sofa and did a couple two-step dance, dance move, which was really funny because I don't really dance. <laughs> it's not every student who gets a letter of recommendation from NASA, but Lilia Miller, a civil engineering mayor, is one of them. NASA knows Lilia well because she, in turn, at its space flight center last summer. When she graduates in May, she will return to NASA, but this time at the Glenn Research Center, where she will begin her civil servant rotation while she completes her master's degree. Lilia set a present for this type of success through her years at CCSU. She is in the honors program. She made the dean's list every semester, and she has received multiple scholarships. She has also presented her research on bridge infrastructure to the American Society of Civil Engineers Professional Journal. Even better, Lilia regularly put her academic experience into action as a volunteer for Habitat for Humanity, House of Heroes, and in the local schools as a STEM program leader. It really means a great deal to me. So, you know, going through the honors program and going through civil engineering here at Central, it was very, very rough going. So the classes were very rigorous, um, pairing up very, very rigorous honors courses with really hard engineering curriculum. Um, I didn't really realize going into it how difficult it was going to be, but to go through it and to, to be successful throughout um, and to overcome some of those challenges, I feel like being awarded um, the Barnard Distinguished Scholar Award really shows the, the testament of hard work and dedication that I put into the program and the amount of you know, time and importance I really held with my studies here at Central. And I had actually one mechanical engineering professor, Dr. Al Masood, um, 
who pretty much told me, you know, you should, you should apply to NASA. Like, why not just do it for hee -haw, see what happens. I think you'll get it. Um, and I really didn't put much stock into it, but I thought, hey, if he thinks I can do it and I should do it, then I, I'll go ahead. What's the worst that can happen? I don't, I don't get it. Um, and, you know, I kind of put myself out there and I ended up applying um, and I ended up getting the job. And that was probably one of the biggest steps in my, my career path here at Central. Um, so last summer I went ahead and did an internship at NASA Marshall Space Center in uh, Alabama and it was probably one of the ex best experiences of my life. It completely, you know, reoriented what I wanted to do for a career path and it kind of started shifting me from a civil engineering path more towards the mechanical engineering side of things. Um, and now, you know, I found a career that I absolutely love and I'm super passionate about. So. You know, I really owe that to the professors here who really pushed me towards that direction and told me, hey, you can do this. Quinton Swan, a political science mayor, has been making a mark at CCSU ever since his freshman year when he earned two scholarships in his spring semester. In the years that follow, Quinton made the dean's list and president's list multiple times and received three prestigious awards for leadership, academic achievement, and for his excellent performance as a res residence hall assistant, a position he has held since 2015. Quinton's snack for mentoring and supporting his fellow students made him a natural fit at our Career Success Center where he was an intern during the later half of his CCSEU career. This spring, Quinton is taking his expertise in student support to the next level as a career and a student success intern at the OIC of New Britain. Quinton takes his community engagement minor seriously and it keeps him very busy, but his peers cited his upbeat demeanor and professional act as an unwavering in their interactions with him. I didn't declare my community engagement minor until halfway through my junior year. Um, it wasn't until I got involved with in residence life and um, career services and academic advising um, that I really got that community sense and I wanted to connect that to my academics. So I declared that minor um, and was able to take the classes and I've been able to connect with the New Britain community, not just the central community, through um, my internship at New Britain OIC um, and helping you know, high school students prepare for college. The Barnard Award means a lot to me. Um, you know, through my four years, I've worked really hard to get involved within the community, get involved in academics, and it's really nice to see um, all that hard work come to fruition and sh can show um, these undergraduate students that are coming up um, that they through their hard work, they too can um, get awarded. Annabelle Bass has pursued her double major in psychological science and criminology with determination and focus, a good trait in an aspiring FBI agent. While completing the rigorous requirement of our honors program, Annabelle qualified for the Dean's List every semester earned multiple scholarships and was inducted into three honor societies along the way. Her professors say Annabelle is among the best and the brightest in their department and noted that she routinely earned perfect scores on exams and assignments. She also won a research award from the department last year. Annabelle held two jobs through her college career while completing internship and conducting research. Naturally, she has started building her law enforcement resume through her participation in the FBI New Haven Citizens Academy, of which she is an active alumni member. We are quite certain Annabelle will bring the same drive to graduate school where she plans to study forensic psychology. So I decided to major in psychology because I had found an old college textbook of my aunt and I was looking through it and I just really liked it. So when I came to Central, that's just what I chose. I didn't know that I would stick with it. 
Um, I'm glad I did. I really enjoy the subject material. And um, the choice to double major with criminology was uh, my future goals include uh, federal law enforcement, mostly the FBI. To be a special agent would be the top goal. If I don't get there, it's not a big deal. It's just where I think I would be able to make the most difference. So it's easy to forget the challenges you have when you come to a point like this, when you're getting recognized for the things that you have been able to accomplish. But um, for me, the last challenges in the last four years have been, um, like I said, I came because I have financial issues. Like I knew I wouldn't be able to go to college unless I was able to get a lot of scholarships. So I've been working since high school to do that, um, which means that I have heavy course loads and that I consistently have been working while I'm in school almost 30, maybe more than that, hours a week, including this semester, which I have an internship and I'm working and I go to school. I don't have any days off, which can be really challenging, but I've learned to make time for myself, which was something I struggled with in one semester. I wish our Barner scholars the best as they move on from CCSU and applaud their hard work and contributions to our university. You can read more about Eastern's two Barnard scholars in your program, but I want to tell you some things about Nadia and Uberki you won't hear elsewhere. Nadia's dad is a businessman, and it was natural for her to gravitate toward a degree in business and marketing but she also loves to write. And when she worked in our writing center as a peer tutor, it turned her on to the world of rhetoric and composition. Combine that with her work in the Institute of Sustainable Energy, and you can see why she plans to enter law school this fall in pursuit of a degree in environmental law. Nadia also admits that she's a stress baker, and she likes the lengthy process of baking pies because it generates calming, soothing thoughts. Nadia tells me that when she walked upon our campus four years ago, she knew it was the right place for her. The friends she met on her dorm floor in freshman year have been her roommates all four years. Nadia's mom says she's going to help save the world, and I'm convinced it will happen. My name is Nadia Balasone, and I am a double major in business administration with a concentration in marketing and English with a concentration in rhetoric and composition. From the moment I stepped foot on this campus, I would say that I could tell it was a community right off the bat. Um, and I think that was one of the biggest deciding factors for me coming to Eastern is that I wanted a sense of community and I wanted that support. And I think it's helped me all four years. One of the most impactful things for me at Eastern has been working as a writing center tutor. I've done it for three years, so it's really, it's become my family in a way, and I think that it's shaped me as a writer, and I think I've learned how to communicate a lot better, and I've learned how to reach back into my community a lot better. Receiving the Barnard Award is a huge honor for me. Um, I would say that sense of community from Eastern has supported me along the whole way through my four years, and I think that this is just the cherry on top. So the Barnard Award is really punctuates that sense of community for me. My long-term goal is to someday work with nonprofit animal shelters in the state of Connecticut or with the public sector for environmental law, and I really hope to give back to those charities and help them put their name on the map in terms of sustainability best practices. Your Berkey has combined her interest in science and a love of people to pursue her interest in nursing and plans to attend UConn's nursing school next January. As a biology major, she has done research on Alzheimer's disease, but she also volunteers at Bacchus Hospital and works part-time as a certified nursing assistant at a senior home. Last summer, she spent six weeks at the New Jersey Medical School refining her interest and skills in medicine. Right now, she's preparing to be certified as a medical interpreter to assist doctors working with Spanish-speaking patients. Going to school and working three jobs keeps Uberki very busy. Uberki is also an artist. She loves to draw in pencil in her spare time. Her hero is her mother, who was the first college graduate in her family back home in the Dominican Republic. Uberki wants to make a difference in the lives of women, the lives of the elderly, and her people. I know she will. My name is Jubreki Delgadillo, I'm a senior and I'm majoring in biology. So the last four years at Eastern have definitely been four years of growth and trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I had so many opportunities and I took every chance that I had um, just to learn a little more about myself. I had the opportunity to be a teaching assistant, 
to do research with Dr. Lucen and also um, be a peer mentor. Um, so many opportunities. I became interested in um, healthcare um, because I loved the sciences to begin with and through my experiences here at Eastern such as being a resident assistant and a teaching assistant I've learned that I loved um, working with people and helping them and sending them to the resources that they need. Receiving the Henry Barnard Award is an honor. Um, I feel like it really compiles the last four years um, of being just so involved um, and I feel like it's definitely paid off. So after Eastern I plan on pursuing a degree in nursing and after two years of bedside nursing, um, I plan on pursuing um, a nurse practitioner and furthering my education and maybe do a little administration, but we'll see when we get there. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored to be able to congratulate the four outstanding Southern students who have earned the Henry Barnard Distinguished Student Award. Jessica Holman, Kenita Mote, Rebecca Harmon, and Kevin Redline. Each of the four has a different academic major and their backgrounds are quite diverse, but they share a passion for academic excellence, each having a GPA of 3.75 or better, and all have committed themselves to some form of social justice. Jessica, for example, is passionate about ending sexual violence and has spent countless hours helping sexual assault survivors. My undergraduate thesis project created a safer and more respectful campus for all students by training first-year students to be active bystanders in our community. I created and implemented a multimedia bystander intervention program and presented it through first-year experience and inquiry courses, which are courses consisted of like all freshman students. And um, I trained over 300 students to safely, effectively, and nonviolently intervene when they see problematic situations, but specifically emphasized intervening in sexual violence within the program. Receiving the Barnard Award has been a huge honor and has really been um, validating in all of the work that I've done to stop sexual violence. And I think that it reflects on Southern's mission to achieve social justice and reflects how supportive like the faculty members were and the staff were of the program that I designed and implemented. It's a part of my Honors College thesis project. Rebecca has spent much of her time working with children teaching preschool, serving as a summer camp director, and as an intern with the Children's Defense Fund Freedom School. Being in the Honors College was such an enriching experience. All the courses are taught by two professors from different fields. It really helped me grow as a critical thinker, as a learner, as a writer, and without the Honors College, I think my experience would have been completely different. So when I first started at Southern, I imagined just coming out and being a well-polished teacher, but because of all my experiences in service with Southern, I'm now not only prepared to be a great educator, but also an activist for all my students, um, an ally, an accomplice for different social justice issues that are in education. And when I think about this Barnard Award, that really inspires me to not only work harder for myself, but for the community and all my students that I'll be teaching. Kevin is an assistant scoutmaster with Boy Scouts Troop 5 in Middlebury and also gave 300 hours of service to the AmeriCorps Jumpstart program. Initially, I wasn't going to go to college. I was like, who would do that? Why would you do that? It's a waste of time and money. Um, and when I got here, I was just so surprised at how much I actually learned. Um, I, during classes, but even not during classes, just walking around, just talking to people. Like college is so important as part of a interactive environment rather than just an academic environment and I think sometimes we forget about that and Southern's really let me experience that. The Henry Bernard Distinguished Students Award has given me the confidence to look further than I ever thought I could. Um, I'm now considering different schools, furthering my education, different jobs. It definitely means I can go a little bit further than I thought I could. Um, now I'm looking at directing positions instead of just working at places. I'm looking at trying to live up to the legacy of the Bernard Award. Kenita came to the United States in 1999 as her parents fled their native Indonesia to seek political asylum. Reflecting her roots, she is a member of New Haven Rising, a community activist group working for racial, economic, and social justice and also served as an intern with a nonprofit agency that supports human rights in Southeast Asia. 
The Barnard Award has made me realize that my activism as a student in the New Haven community and in the labor movement um, are worth pursuing. Um, it means, it shows me that there are other people who are interested in it, that there is um, some real value to this work that other people can see. Um, and it gives me a moment to talk about what, thing, what I'm passionate about and it gives me a platform and connections to make my dream um, of a better future for everyone possible. I would love to get my um, to get a graduate degree to continue to study uh, labor history in America. Um, I think that that history speaks um, enormous volumes um, to this day. It is something. Uh, it is a legacy of which I'm proud to be um, to, uh, proud to be a part. Um, it's a legacy that is also just incredibly interesting pedagogically as well and academically. It's something that I love reading about. Something that I love writing about. Something that I love discussing. So labor history, um, political science as it, regards, as it relates to uh, labor policy as well. After graduation, I'd like to continue to empower female workers of color um, and, get, um, and achieve some real equitable um, change in America um, to kind of level the playing field for real um, in deeply meaningful ways and to continue the work that began in the 1960s with progressive reforms but continues to this day with community organizing. I congratulate all of the 2018 Barnard awardees for the contributions they have made and will make as future leaders in society. Thank you all so very much. Congratulations to our awardees. And as always, go Owls! Sarah Hogla has spent her time at Western Connecticut State University's psychology program studying, quote, the student who struggles in learning, unquote. A most important subject. That is not, however, because Sarah herself has struggled. She is a 4.0 student. That's right, a 4.0 student who says she learned an important life lesson when she received the grade of B on a test during her second semester here at Western. That was her first ever grade for anything lower than an A. Sarah earned the 2016 Outstanding New Student Psychology Award and the Outstanding Junior Award the next year. She is a member of the Psychology Honor Society, worked as a student instructor for two psychology courses, interned in a clinical setting, published papers, and served in several student clubs. Described by the psychology chair as one of the most academically gifted students we have ever had in the department, Sarah is applying to various PhD programs in psychology. My name is Sarah Hogler and I'm a psychology major. I chose to come to Western because first um, I was only 17 coming in as a freshman and so I, I didn't want to go away from home at least my first year. Um, and I'd heard really good things about the psychology program and I was really interested in pursuing a career in psychology. I got really involved in the honors program. Just seeing the kind of amazing sense of community there really made me want to stay here for the, the uh, rest of the three years. Over the last three years, I've, I've been able to get involved in research with Dr. Nelson in the psych department, um, and we actually just finished an ebook chapter that's going to go in a in a, a teaching ebook. She's just a very dear friend, and, and you know, depending on, on where I go after graduation, I think I would miss her immensely. She's been a huge influence on my life. Um, I've known some of the the previous winners of this award, and they're just these amazing scholars and these, these really incredible people. And so just kind of receiving that same honor is, is incredible. Melanie Jones said she had a challenging time in the classroom in 2017, but that's because of her great determination to receive a wonderful education. She took 20 credits, that's right, 20 credits in the spring and 15 and a half in the fall and did great. Melanie has done much more than achieve academically. She has spent her entire university career giving back to the community. As examples, Melanie was president of the Western Chapter of the National Association for Music Education and an academic resource mentor with housing and residential life. She held leadership positions in Sigma Delta Tau sorority and has taught and volunteered at her alma mater, Stanford High School, for the past three years. She just returned from a Newman Center mission trip to the Dominican Republic. Melanie is about to graduate magna cum laude, or with great honors, with a Bachelor of Science in Music Education, and reflecting her love of adventure and travel, will apply for graduate school in Australia. 
My name is Melody Jones and I'm a music education major. And I decided to come to Western because of the music program, graduating WestCon as a music education major. Um, I can go out and I can conduct, I can perform anywhere that I want to, I can play in bands, I can play in orchestras, I can conduct things, I could teach in a middle school, I could teach in a high school, I could go on and get my doctorate and become a college professor. It has given me so many great opportunities and great different paths to figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. And this award has kind of rewarded me for uh, pushing myself to the extremes. There were some nights where I would just, just cry because I wasn't sure if I was, would be able to do it. It didn't come easy, especially with my working schedule. I've worked like, I think a total of 11 different part-time jobs from freshman year until now. I've been to five continents already and um, I hope to get to six and seven before I'm 25. <laughs> Just having the opportunity to be able to perform and teach and go around and teach others to perform and teach is just everything in one world that I could ever ask for.